So the KO Perico heist has a few updates um, since this new patch for the new Los Santos drug wars. And I honestly wasn't going to make a video on it. But I did see a video online saying that the Kyo Perico heist was broken. And that it has a bunch of bugs and since this new update that it just doesn't work and they need to fix it. And that just isn't the case. There's just been a few updates and I don't think people really know about them. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do the Kyo Perico heist in the new update. And why it's a little bit different and why people think it's broken. So right here as you guys can see I have a mission lined up and it just so happens to be the pink diamond. So we're going to go ahead and do this and obviously we're going to be doing this solo so close play solo yep so i have a few videos on this channel like the fastest easiest way to do this i'm just going to show you the way i do this setup the way i do every kaya Perico heist so the approach vehicle is always the kasaka uh the infiltration point is always the drainage tunnel same thing here drainage tunnel and then i guess you could just put this anywhere we'll just put it on main dock and then time of day is going to be daytime and this is going to be our setup all right, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward past this part because I don't think it takes a genius to paddle your way over <laughs> to the, the little gate that you can see in front of us, that yellow marker right there. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so we have got to this location. I should mention the guns that I requested, just in case people care. I think it's the... Is it the aggressor? I don't know. It's the, the shotgun and the pistol, I believe. I'll show you guys right now. So this is the gun I use, and it also has the silencer on it. I always make sure to put the silencer on it. So first things first, we can kill this guy. I don't think any guards walk past this location. And then what we'll do is we'll run down here. Now, depending on how you play this game now. You're either gonna have to kill more or less guards. More or less guards. So we'll kill him. We'll take out the camera, because the camera, if it sees a dead body now, it will alert them. It will alert that there's been a dead body. So we're gonna wait for this guy to walk back past over here. And as soon as he comes over here, we're gonna kill him. So let's go ahead and stand right here. He's gonna walk over and we're gonna kill him right here. Because like I say, this isn't a bug. You're not being found out. Um, it's just... Uh oh I don't think I alerted the guards. No. I just... I missed him. I missed him. So now that he's dead, though, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kill the jug. Because whereas before, I would never kill the jug. We would just run up there. We would do everything. Eventually, the jug would walk past, but he wouldn't see the dead body. He would just walk past it. Now, we have to kill the jug before he sees the dead body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot him in the back um, before he gets to the top of the stairs right here. So let's just wait for him. He's gonna walk around this corner. He shouldn't be able to see us if we are I'm trying to figure out the location I go for this. I think if we're here, we should be fine. I don't think he'll see us from this location. Kind of worried he might see us. So we're going to go down here. As soon as he walks past, we'll walk around this corner and shoot him in the back. The whole thing is, like I say, I saw... I wasn't going to do a video, but I saw a video of somebody... And it got tons of views. It was like a video that came out literally just a few hours ago. And they were saying how he can see through walls now. He can... All of this. And it's just not the case. It's not the case at all. So we're going to shoot him in the back. All right, that should not have alerted the guards, even though I wanted to shoot him in the back. I don't think that guard's going to walk up here. So as of right now, we should be safe. Because there's no guards going to be walking around in this location. So now we'll just do our typical route, which is up here. We'll take out this guard. And again, as long as no guards see dead bodies, you'll be fine. It's all about dead bodies now. Okay, and then this guy, he's got the key, so we'll take that. And then we'll just do the typical. We'll do our typical route here. We'll see if the glitch here still works. But first and foremost, we're just going to grab some cash. You can see the guards have not been alerted. Now, one of the things this video said, which I'll show you, is they came down here. And when they walked around the corner here, the juggernaut was beneath them and alerted. And they said, oh, now with this new update, even if the jug, if you're in the cone of sight, even if you're above the juggernaut, 
it's going to trigger you. That is not the case. The reason the Juggernaut got triggered beneath them is because they saw the dead body that was beneath them. So it's not because they can see through walls or anything like that. It's just because now you have to make sure you don't get dead bodies in sight. So let's go ahead and just try this glitch. I don't even know if this thing still works. But if you're a solo player and you're like, damn, I wish I could make some more money on this. This was typically the way you would do it. And yeah, okay. So it looks like this still works. Okay, so there's a paint in here. So like I say, as long as there's no bodies in the line of sight, you're good. And as of right now, we've made it so there's no bodies. So we should be able to finish this entire thing. It's still easy. It's still easy to do solo. Just don't have dead bodies lying around. That is literally the only thing. Which I honestly think makes more sense. Like I remember the first time I played this mission, when I killed somebody, I thought that the Jug or any of them, if they would have walked past, would have been alerted, but they didn't. And I thought that was kind of weird. So I think it is now more in line with just being more realistic. So you really don't have to kill any more people or less people, depending on how you do this run. This is the same run that I have always done. Uh, the only difference is now we've killed the Jug before he can alert. So we still just walk out here. You can see there's no bodies around us. Oh, there's no Jug walking around, which is the main one, really. Um, so let's go ahead and go down here now that we've got the key. And keep in mind, if you're thinking, oh, well, you're lucky you just got the key. That's not the case. You can either take the elevator from upstairs that'll come down here. Um, but with the way I do this, they always, 100% of the time, one of the guards that I kill has the key. Um, and then obviously we do this. Gotta say, why isn't this working? That should have been perfect. It was perfect. I was just second guessing myself. All right. Now, this is where somebody said in that same video, they said it was a bug. They said this time they came in here and then when they were coming out, there was a random person that spawned just back over there where we came in. Again, that is not the case. What had happened is because they tried doing it again, they also didn't realize um, that the guards were just triggered after they got down here. So basically what had happened, the reason there was a random person down here is because while they were down here doing this part, a guard triggered one of the dead bodies upstairs. Sorry, I was explaining this to you guys. I wasn't even paying attention to this thing. Um, a guard noticed the dead body when they were down here. So then it alerted them and a guard ran down here. That is the reason that there was a guard down here. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the video I'm talking about. Um, but obviously they just didn't weren't aware of the new update. So it's not their fault. I did leave a comment just explaining it, but... I just don't want people thinking this game's bugged from a new update that they just aren't familiar with. So yeah, there was a guard basically in here, and they said that never usually happens. And it doesn't, but because they were triggered, that's what happened. So we can still do our typical escape route here. Uh, where's the guard? I think we should be good. So you just run up here still. All right, we've already triggered the escape here, so it doesn't matter if they saw us there or not, as long as we had passed that point. So you can see, this is still very easy. Uh, the only person additional I had to kill during this was the Juggernaut, because I had to make sure I killed him before we went to the top of the stairs to kill that other guy. I just had to kill the Juggernaut. And to be honest with you, I used to do that anyway at the beginning, um, until I realized that the Juggernaut didn't walk or didn't alert people. I used to kill the Juggernaut anyway, but now I'm just going to have to do it again, I guess. Not that big of a deal. And then we still take the motorcycle up here. Again, that guard doesn't get triggered. So you can see, we still have not triggered any guards. This is the new update since the new Drug Wars DLC. Just making sure, because people are thinking that it's broken. It is not. So let's continue over to our location. Some people may be saying, oh, it's broken now. You can't do this anymore. We're going to find out right here together. Let's actually speed this up a little bit because it's a lot of walking or swimming. So you can see that helicopter. It always shows up. But as soon as you go down here, it should disappear. There you go. So as soon as you get up to this strand of seaweed that's right in front of us. Why am I swimming so slow now? Uh, you can see that strand of seaweed. It's going to be over. And that is it. Absolutely done and dusted and completed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Three, two, one. And we've done it. Just like that.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section if you're still having issues, but that's how you do it in a new update.